ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome. It's time for another exciting edition of The Wizard of Pebble the Movie. This is the exciting new show where we tell you what we thought the latest movie. That way you know better than to spend your money at the theater, or this way until it comes out on cable. This week we're going to do an edition we're probably excited about, because we're going to tell you about the top 10 best movies of the 20th century. Wait a minute, most of people weren't even alive from the 20th century. I hope they know what we're talking about. Shh. This way you won't know where we get over time. Gotcha. The first movie on our list is Shrek. For Mike Myers and Eddie Murphy. We picked this movie because the monetary calendar are a lot of great jokes in it. We picked this one because it was nothing for a good fantasy story. Number five on our list is Star Wars. Do you need to see more? Number four on our list is Star Wars. Do you need to see more? Number three on our list is Star Wars. Do you need to see more? Number two on our list is Disney's Masterpiece Monster Day. This is some a couple of monsters be able to a little girl named Boo and it's up to them to get her home. Meanwhile, the corporation wants to collect streams. It's all the cinematic art and spice. Not only that, but watching monsters tell the word is real who. Exactly. And the number one film on our list, none other than Pamela Gump to Hollywood. What? This one year new film written and directed by none other than George Shirley. Sorry, this one of the finest films ever created since Lumiere Brothers. Crank out Dirty to the Moon. Very Captain Dan Jones and Trevor and Lloyd Young Pamela. Wait a minute, there's no such movie as Pamela Goes to Hollywood. Not yet, but I got a lunch meeting with Jim Gilbert. I oh, like Cal's Bell. California, here I come. So, well, I guess we run out of time for the day. By the way, folks, listen to how I review the sidekick. No free necessary will trade. Hi for now, I'll see you next week on The Wizard and. Oh, I hear Captain Lee Gifford needs the job, maybe I'll give her a call.